Right, good day everybody, 2E0XVX here. I'm going to uh, explain to some of the guys who have not quite got their head around this uh, next in editor. Obviously I've had some of these um, uh, screens uh, done before, so they're in here. If not, you're going to have to go up and download the HMI file uh, from the Facebook group page. But I'll just go ahead and upload this one to start with. Right, if you're using a... USB to TTL converter, you upload the image, uh, you want to go through and change obviously your name, your call sign and your frequency up in here and that is done by if you move your mouse up over to the frequency and then you'll notice down here, it's here, change it, move the mouse to somewhere else and that will change, you'll have to go through and do that on all of the images so uh, you got your DMR frequency and your D-Star, your Fusion and your P25, you'll have to go touch on it and it brings it down the bottom here and you add it into there, so we'll move back up to the main page and don't forget to change the call sign because it's got mine in there and whatever you want to put in those two boxes uh, if you're using a USB to TTL converter you go to device, make sure you check the right one, either it can do 2.4 inch, 2.8 inch on a, on one of these images. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on upload and it will upload it to the screen. Now, if you're going to go the TFT route, you need to click the compile button. Once you've finished editing whatever you want to do on there, you click on the compile button. And as you can see down here, it will run through the whole system. If it's got some errors, which you might have changed on there, not done it correctly up on, this, on these fields, it will puke out an error on here. If it's all well and you've got no errors, that's done. It's now compiled it. What you need to do is you need to go up into the top where it says file, right up in the very top. For some reason that's not focusing. Up to file. Click on file. And then you want to be opening build folder. I don't know why. That's better. Right, you want to open up build folder. And you will notice, I'll just go to the last one, so it's on there. Uh, it's just created a 2.4 inch English flag one, which is the image that was on there. And all you do then is you drag and drop that into somewhere probably on your desktop and then you use uh, burn that to drop that to an SD card straight onto a formatted SD card drag that file onto the SD card shove it in the back of the screen and all you want to do is power the screen up with 5 volts uh, you don't want a TX and RX on there just power it up with um, 5 volts wait for it to finish go for it up to 100% and then remove the SD card. Do not leave, leave the SD card in because if you do, it'll try and just keep dumping um, another image to the card, to the screen. So you do have to remove the SD card once you flashed it and it says 100% done. Uh, take the SD card out, then you're ready to rock and roll. Seven threes.